Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and I'm answering all of the nation's questions here. I go live every single Tuesday, which is where these questions are from. And if you want to have your questions featured on the show, all you got to do, all you got to do, join us live. Turn on that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. That way you can join the show. So if you send in a super, we always put you up on screen. And the first question coming in here is, Hell Raider. If Jordan Love requests a trade next season, would you want to try and get him? Wow. I'll say this with the whole Jordan Love thing, okay? Was he drafted high? Yes. He has two years, though, left on his contract still, okay? And if your plan is this, this is the only way I'm trading for Jordan Love. The only way I'm trading for Jordan Love is if you move on from Derek Carr, you bring in Tom Brady, you let Tom Brady run the offense. You let Jordan Love learn behind Tom Brady. If Brady stinks, I move on from Brady. You give Jordan Love the keys to the car for one year. If he's good, you bring him back. If not, you move on from him. But the fact that Jordan Love was a very high draft pick, there is that part of me that wonders if you were to have him on the team, let him learn behind Tom Brady for a year or two, and then trade him away, you might actually be able to get something for him. Because if anybody's been able to flip quarterbacks – I will give that credit to New England. They've always been able to flip quarterbacks. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so. Subscribe, turn on those notifications to never miss Raiders content. The link is below. I know we got a lot of really awesome loyal watchers out there, so if you're part of the Noti Gang, spam Noti Gang. Let's go to Steve. Raiders will get the seventh seed. Oh, boy. I mean, as it stands right now, the AFC playoff picture has the New England Patriots as the seventh seed, so this is why it's a big game. And if the Raiders win out, there's absolutely a chance. We'll see what happens with the Miami Dolphins and Tyreek Hill because if Hill is injured, I do think that that whole wild card opens up a little bit. I don't have confidence in the Jets. I don't think the Browns or the Steelers are a team to worry about. Neither is Jacksonville. So realistically, it's Dolphins, Patriots, Chargers, and if the Raiders can win out, I really, truly believe they're going to get in. Let's go to the Stu's music box. How do you pay all that money for Adams and then not pass at all to him in the second half? Just mind-boggling. I believe he got a target. I don't think he caught the ball. And my point to that is target him two, three, four, five. Like, you can't target Devontae Adams too much. You can't. If you're saying, all right, Carr's going to throw the ball seven times, I'm okay as a Raiders fan saying all seven of those can go to Devontae Adams. Does anybody disagree? Even if Adams is covered and in that game against the Rams, that first play of the game, Jalen Ramsey, pass interference all over him. One-handed snag. The catches that Devontae makes, it's just, it makes no sense to me why you wouldn't target him 12, 13 times. Oh, but Mitch, Carr only threw the ball 20 times. 10, 11, 12. They got to go to number 17. I get it. It doesn't make any sense to me either, though, Stu. Let's go to one of the guys on Mount Rushmore. Wild one. Tom Brady to San Francisco. Raiders acquire Jimmy G. Derek takes a team-friendly deal. Derek and Jimmy G battle it out for the starting position. No chance. You get Jimmy G, Derek's gone, so. And if I'm Jimmy Garoppolo, why the hell would I come to the Raiders? Why the hell would I come to the Raiders to battle with Derek Carr when... If I, if I am Jimmy G, I think he can go somewhere else and be a starter. Yeah, the Jets are a good team. Jeremy just whispered that. The connection with Robert Sala, that would make a lot of sense to me. Tom Brady to San Francisco, though, there's a chance, right? I mean, that's the team he grew up loving and watching. I just feel like the Niners still are going to give Trey Lance a shot. Let's go to Xavier Foster. Josh McDaniels ran the team in the Rams game into the ground with an injured Jacobs against a top-five run defensive team. That isn't on car. Now, I still think that there is plenty to put blame on Carr, right? I mean, the Raiders' offense had opportunities. DC was not good in that Rams game. Like, let's be real. He, he wasn't good. Do I think that McDaniels didn't have a good pulse on that game? Yeah, absolutely. The fact that Jacobs leaves the game with a hand injury and then the very first play that he comes back out onto the field, McDaniels tells him to throw the football. That's just dumb coaching, not having a pulse on where your team is at. That just shows you that McDaniels, I think, can be a good play caller at times. But he can't do everything. And as a head coach, you need to be able to just run everything smoothly. If McDaniels was smart, he'd make himself the head coach and find another OC. Or go down as the OC and the Raiders find a new head coach. If you guys were smart, you would take advantage of those receipts. All you have to do is take a screenshot of the receipts that you get. 
Download a free app, Apple, Android, free to download, chatsports.com slash fetch. In fact, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the fetch app right now. So here we go. All you do is open the fetch app, press the orange camera button, and snap a photo of your receipt, then hit submit, and you'll see the confetti pop showing up that you've earned more rewards points. It's a simple process. You can also click the e-receipt function to get rewarded for your Amazon purchases or other online shopping by syncing your email account. You can re redeem those points for gift cards at Amazon, Starbucks, or any of the hundreds of retailers and restaurants available. Fetch is available on iPhone and Android. Use our link, chatsports.com slash fetch, and enter promo code chat at sign up for 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. That's the equivalent of a free $5 gift card to get started. It's a free app, and the 5,000 bonus points is only for a limited time. So get started now, chatsports.com slash fetch. Enter the promo code chat. The link is going to be available for you guys in the comments and in the description down there below. Alex is a professional shopper at Target. She is a professional shopper at Target. And you know what? When I see my bill come back, I'm like, all right, that's fair enough. But it's also good to know that I'm getting the bonus points. I shop a lot on Amazon. I just bought my mom some stuff on Amazon. And guess what? Because I have my app linked up, I got the bonus points right away. Also, if you link the Fetch app, you get bonus points for Super Chats. So if anybody out there is like, oh, shit, I send it in Super Chats, get bonus points. Get gift cards. We're trying to help you out. Chatsports.com slash fetch. Let's go to Mac Snacks. Is Darren Waller playing against the Pats? The answer to that should be yes. He's healthy enough. I was told he's going to play. He's going to practice this week. By all accounts, Darren Waller should play. Until I see him out on the field, though, Mac, I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't know. There will always be that I'm not 100% sure if he plays. Always a little bit of doubt with Darren Waller from here on out. So if you love the Raiders, let me see some LVs. I know that some people are going to type NE. But you know what? I hope you tune into our watch party this weekend. And you know somebody who I guarantee is spamming LV? It's the Week 14 MVP Tri-Van. If you're wondering how to become an MVP, whoever is the top watcher supporter during our watch parties you're the MVP. You get shout-outs throughout the entire week. Other people who had a good time this past Sunday. And I'm going to ask you all because we call it the Noti Gang. I have a question. This might be weird. Do you guys want to be called <laughs> the Gang Bang? Or is that just a really weird thing to say out loud? I'll ask you all because Devin Johnson, Matthew Schaefer, Jarrett Watson, James Story all threw in $100 Super Chats. And we had a hell of a time. Shout out to Reyes. Maldonado, the greatness of the Raiders. Patrick B., another guy, Hootie Lord, who's always watching the show. Lord Body Bear, Artie Savantis, and Marcus Pratt. I say thank you for supporting the show. Thank you for being a real one. Thank you for repping <laughs> Raider Nation. It's greatly appreciated, and we got a lot of fun stuff planned for this upcoming game day. Let's go to L Raider 93. At least Brady won't hold back on calling on McDaniel's BS calls if he comes to Vegas. I mean, I think that's the other thing. If there's been one quarterback where he can command a huddle, it's Brady. It's also, I want a quarterback who's not afraid to stand up to the coach. Brady is not afraid to stand up to McDaniel's. I don't like Brady. It sucks to say it, but if Tom Brady brings the Raiders a Super Bowl or if Tom Brady gives you a better chance to win, you're foolish to not say, come on, Tom. Come on down. And the other thing is people are like, oh, this and that about McDaniels. Mark Davis tried to get Brady once. Gruden said no. If Mark Davis did it once, what makes you think he won't do it again? Let's go to Brandon Jasper. Mitch, don't forget to get to the locals, locals, locals sandwich shop to get great bread, personal sandwich making, and you pick them toppings. Brandon, I'll tell you what, man. There's one day. I think this just needs to be your bit at this point. If you want to join us on Locals with Brandon, some of the other guys on Mount Rushmore, like Wild One, we got Husker Raider, Aaron Devandry, a lot of awesome people over there, RaidersReport.Locals.com. Let's go to Xavier Foster. Is Josh trying to break, wait, oh, is Josh trying to break Jacobs to lower his worth? I was like, I, now you're saying, is Josh McDaniels trying to break Jacobs to lower his worth? I don't believe so. I think right now, the year that Jacobs has had, he could end this season right now. And there's going to be a lot of teams saying, you know what? I watched that kid play. He's one of the best running backs in the NFL, if not the best running back in the league. So 
His biggest thing is can he stay healthy? And breaking Jacobs, that's not really on a McDaniels thing. Jacobs just got hurt. If he's out there and he continues to play, he's going to get paid because he deserves to play. All right, let's go to Brandon Jasper. He wants to know if we're going to do a shot clock. Oh, boy. Maybe maybe after this mailbag, Brandon, we'll do a quick 60-second shot clock. I'll be honest. I'm nervous about drinking before a flight. John, out here shoveling snow, listening to y'all. Let's win out. Raider Nation for life. Is Jacobs good to go? Still can't stand McClown. I understand that he is good to go. The x-rays were negative that the x-rays were taken on Thursday. He's obviously dealing with a lot of soreness. Somebody close to the team said that his pinky was pointing the wrong direction for Jacobs. They popped it back into place. It's just an uncomfortable injury. He should be okay, though. Let's go to B-Rabe. Who's the next player to get cut when Josh blows another double-digit lead? Whoever's not part of the regime. I mean, that's that's kind of the way it goes. I would say it's either Cleland Furl. I also think, man, like Malcolm Kuntz isn't probably safe. There's going to be some other roster moves that end up happening this week. But if you're not a, not a McDaniels guy, they're not going to keep you. Let's go to Big Time Willie. Trade Waller for a second and a fourth. Keep Carr, Adams, Connection, hire Brian Flores as a head coach and D coordinator. I don't mind the hiring of Brian Flores. I think he's a good coach. And trading Waller for a second and a fourth. I don't know if you'd get a second and a fourth, unfortunately. You might, like, asking for a second round pick right now for Waller, I believe that might even be a stretch. If he's healthy, sure. He's not. He hasn't been healthy in a long time, though, dude. Let's go to Kent Raiders. Mitch, give us a Jordan Love trade idea. A lot of trades. All right, since we were just talking about Waller, let's go with Jordan Love and a third-round pick for Darren Waller. Chugs, if you can make that real quick. Let's go Jordan Love and a third-round pick for Darren Waller. And this is also on the fact of Raiders don't make the playoffs. Carr said no to the no-trade clause, and... You have to end up moving on from them. You save $110.68 million. So here's the idea. You want Jordan Love? You get Jordan Love. I already talked about it then. You bring in Tom Brady. You let Jordan Love learn behind Tom Brady, get an extra third-round pick, and you say, best of luck to you, Waller. If the Packers one of them, which is apparently they wanted them for a second-round pick, it's up there. Also, there's rumors going around that Jordan Love might request a trade. If that happens... Green Bay wants to get rid of them. Maybe this makes everyone happy. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Who wins the trade, though? If you think it's the Packers, type GB. If you think it's the Las Vegas Raiders, type LV. When Darren Waller's at his best, the Raiders lose this trade. But the Darren Waller that we've seen over the past almost two years now, I think the Raiders win this one. So it sucks. I don't want to trade away Waller. But you know what? That's the first one that came to my mind. <laughs> Let's go to Dan King. It might not be the best scenario, but can Patrick Graham, being a defensive mind, talk with McClown before he calls a pivotal play? Um, he should. It's also on McDaniels to know what your defensive coordinator is doing. I mean, the only thing I can think of that you're thinking of here is the final play of the Raiders-Rams game where Patrick Graham decided to run press man coverage, no safety help over the top, and if anything, he had the single high safety on the other side. And then you match up your UDFA Sam Webb on Van Jefferson. If that's what you're talking about, I don't have a great answer for you because the defense, they played well the entire day. But the problem is the Raiders, this is an old expression me and my buddies used to use in baseball, your butthole gets really tight. And when your butthole gets tight, you make it, you make, <laughs> you don't play well because you're playing tight. That's the bottom line. And the Raiders this season in the fourth quarter had some tight buttholes. Let's go to Jeremy Cole. Any updates on the money we should get back from Ruggs and Arnett? Thanks for everything you guys do, real one for life. I would say, from what I get, you still have to figure out the whole, until the rug situation is situated, which it still blows my mind that it hasn't been situated yet, but you know that is what it is. And then Damon Arnett, that should be contract conduct detrimental to the team. When that all went down, it was under my impression that the Raiders would get the money back in 2023, and I believe it's $8.5 million. But if the legal case and everything's still going on and there's still nothing really happening with the Arnett situation, I don't have that answer, man. Let's go to Ulysses Garcia. How can we draft both Carter and Anderson? You can't. You can't. <laughs> I would love to be able to get both of those players, but to me it's Jalen Carter and Will Anderson are both going to go in the top four. Maybe even go in the top three. 
could even go in the top two. And uh, that's how just talented those two defensive players are. But it's also how much the quarterback play has slowly started to decrease as the season has gone on. I appreciate everyone who's tuned in and watched today's mailbag. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Please, please do so. Turn on those notifications and join Jeremy Chuggs and I on Sunday when we hope and pray the Raiders take down the Patriots. Thank you.